Making the Unreal real is a very exciting thing to do. We've got systems out in the woods, we've got systems in fields, we've got systems up a mine shaft. It's just creating an atmosphere that's immersive for the people involved so that they just feel that it's more realistic. That's an extra 3D beam. I'm loving that. We've got a four and a half kilowatt searchlight which is mounted in the castle so that could probably be seen from about five, six, seven kilometers around. But the rest of it is, is to really heighten the tension that people feel as they go through the experiences. And we're making sure that that's key to what we do. Are you ready? Yes, sir! I'm really interested in the way the kind of fictional worlds like that kind of Halo universe meet the real world. And hopefully what we're going to get successfully is this shock of being plunged out of the real world and into this fictional universe that we're creating in the mountains. We're playing with this EMP blast. It's incredible because this blast happens and it hits you right in the gut. And the best way we've found to do that is to take a series of balloons, fill them with a mixture of gases. This is the one where we actually, the vehicle comes on through. So we have is six barrels packed full of cork, dust, vermiculite. We've got half a kilo of gunpowder in there. It's gonna kick it out and just in this wall of dust, rubble and cork just billowing towards the people. So we're off to the party. Go, 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 go! It was like Halo. With me right in it. I honestly don't even know what to do or what to say. That's how awesome it was. It was something that I will remember for the rest of my life.